Thank goodness it's Monday. Yeah, right. Actually, I can't complain. Today was it actually was a really great day. I came up this weekend and I recorded a couple of videos. Um, several of the videos were of me talking to the camera because I was explaining to students, first of all, the purpose of the new topic and then how it applies to our everyday lives. I also shared a story from my AP days as an assistant principal and how it's applicable to percent composition when Sometimes, unfortunately, we would bust students that had unknown substances on them and they would need to get sent down to a lab for analysis. And then I sh uh, recorded a couple of videos of me working some problems and then there were problems embedded in the Canvas site that the students had to work through. But the way I created these problems was that students all got different numbers, so they actually had to sit there and do the work on their own. They couldn't copy. Not that many of my students do that and at this point now with the canvas modules they actually try to understand um, but it was just another layer to prevent copying in case that was happening with a few of the students that do that um i'm trying to see what else that was it so i used the go guardian just to monitor students didn't really have an issue with any students visiting sites that they shouldn't have been on beyond using canvas using it for canvas and to access the program in the videos and i just walked around to monitor students and ask, you know, if they had specific questions on things, which is a great thing about the learning because they can go at their own pace. They're watching me teach them, so I didn't find the videos of other people. And I saw students watching some of the videos over, they were rewinding certain sections, and I heard them, oh yeah, I got it. And I'm sorry for that noise, that is the African clawed frog that I have. It's being very... being very loud right now. This doesn't want me to vlog, he wants me to go home. So that's probably my cue that I should go home. <laughs> it's Wednesday, it's my planning period. I know my hair looks like a mess. My students have already told me, Mister, what's wrong with your hair? I woke up and I just didn't really feel like doing it, so. And I stayed up really late last night because I, unfortunately, you know, when things, the ball is starting to roll and things are going well. In regard, at least for me, recording videos and putting them on to the Canvas site and creating a blended learning experience for my students' environment, for my students, <clears throat> that, you know, it was going. And yesterday I stood up here until about 6.30 and in the middle of recording one of my videos, I was actually almost done. The innovation station, the area where I work at that has the computer that's connected to the projector and the document camera, all of, all of a sudden I just saw like this big white flash of light and then the innovation station just power went out. I tried to reset it, nothing. So right now it's non-functional. The projector works, but the document camera, um, the computer, everything else does not work. So if I want to show something to the students, whether it's showing them through the Canvas site, um, through the computer, or trying to work a problem, I can't do that right now. Luckily, I had the module set up for today, and I shot enough of the videos for the modules that students will need, at least my 8A on Friday, my B-Day next Tuesday. That's set, um, so I just need to figure out if there's a teacher that will allow me to record in their classroom before or after school, most likely after school, um, to get these videos recorded. Um, and I put a heat ticket in, so I don't know how long that's going to take. And I don't even know if they're gonna come fix it because our district actually is rolling out the new innovation stations. They're not called that anymore. They're called something else, but they're mobile. Whereas the one that I have is attached and I can only move it um, in the certain area that it's, it's attached to the wall. So I don't even know if I'm gonna get a new one right away because I currently have one and whether they're gonna come fix it or not. So that's one issue. The other issue right now that I'm facing is that, and I've experienced this issue all throughout the school year, but it seems to be getting progressively worse as we get near the end of the school year. And I can't believe it's already the fifth six weeks. So, um, but one of the issues that I'm facing is the students, 
there's like this helplessness. So for example, I have one of the modules that the students have to do and I'm looking at it right now. Within like the first 10 words, it tells the students, hey, you're gonna create an acrostic using this word. So I'll have students open it up and they don't read it. So they'll call me over, hey, Mr. Lies, what is the word that we need to use? And I ask them, well, did you read it? Yeah, I read it. Okay, so you should know what the word is. I don't know what the word is. And then I come straight to it and it's like, again, the first, within the first sentence it says, please read, please read all of this, use the word percent composition. And it's in big, bold <laughs> font. Um, and then sometimes students will come around and they'll ask me a question. I'm like, well, isn't it in your notebook? Yeah, but I don't want to pull it out of my notebook. Okay, well, I guess you don't really want to know you know, what the formula for this particular compound is, or et cetera. So that's just what I'm facing right now. It's just a lot of that, hey, I don't know where this is at when it's right there in front of, you know, their faces. How many, you know, how many decimal places do we need to round it? And again, it's in big bold, highlighted in yellow, right there in front of them. Like, I'm looking at the screen, watching them look at it. And so it's just this, you know, issue that I'm facing right now, and I, I felt like within the modules that I created this week that I was careful in the layout of my instructions, but apparently not because I still have students looking, not really trying to read or asking me for help for things that are right in front of them. Or because as I said earlier, they don't want to take their notebook out of their book bag. That's what I'm facing right now. So it's just a lot of the students calling me all over, hey, and they're asking me the same question over and over again. So I don't know what is going on. We're almost towards the end of the school year. So again, fatigue, they're getting tired, I'm tired. And so that part I understand, but it's just one of these things where I, guys, read the instructions. With that said, I'm going to, I need to figure out, sorry, I'm like tired right now. It's like hitting me all at once. I need to figure out, my plan for recording the next topic videos. So that way, if I'm gonna be in another teacher's room, I can get that done right away. So I'm going to do that right now. And yeah, I will talk to you all tomorrow. I gotta figure out what I'm doing. It's only Wednesday, I have two more days left. Two more days left and I can, I can sleep all day if I want to. It is Thursday, February 15th. Um, I'm not going to vlog too much. Today, my students just did the percent composition lab that my students did yesterday. So basically what they did is, similar to the moles in the piece of chalk or moles in my signature lab that they did like two weeks ago, um, the students had to generate a lab procedure and write step by step what they were going to do. Once I approved it, then I gave them a piece of bubble gum. So basically what they had to do was weigh the piece of bubble gum, chew it for at least 10 minutes. If a student didn't want to chew it, I did the lab already. So they were either able to use my data or they could work with a, a partner that actually was going to chew the gum and do the lab. And then they had to re-weigh the, re the gum after 10 minutes and then um, determine the percent of sugar in their gum. Um, the students got into it both yesterday and today. So with that said, I'm going to head out. It's late and I'm going to go home. It's Friday. It's my third period conference time. Um, I am not going to vlog too much, mainly because fourth period is about to begin in about five minutes. But then just the week that it's been it's been a weird, a weird week here, but for those who have not heard or don't live in the country, there was another school shooting where unfortunately many students lost their lives and faculty members. And so it's just been one of those instances where, you know, students are asking questions, you know, have I heard about it? Um, is something like that gonna happen here? Which is unfortunate, like students shouldn't have to worry about going to school and and having an incident like what occurred in Florida and some of these other schools here in the country occurring here at the campus. So it's just one of these things, you know, reassuring the students, and, but then also making sure that they are aware of emergency procedures. But again, no matter how many times you practice something, you never really know until um, something like that occurs, and hopefully that never occurs at the school that I work at, or any school, for that matter. Um, 
With that said, I'm going to end here and get ready for my fourth period. I have three minutes left, and so I need to get the, um, the writing prompts ready for my students. So I will talk with you all next week.